Today we are back with another baking recipe of cheese and sausage rolls. Bread and cheese are a match made in heaven and today we have another good companion sausage. These dinner rolls unlike the regular dinner rolls have a hard crust on top while the inside is really soft. There is netting and we'll also see how to shape the rolls when there are bits and pieces of sausage and cheese falling apart. We'll also see how to get the hard crust and soft inside in these rolls. You taste these super super tasty rolls once and you wouldn't want to have sausage, cheese and bread in any other way. For more such easy, yummy and explanatory baking recipes to up your baking skills, please do subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you're notified every time the video is out. I'm so excited to share this recipe with you. Let's get started. In a large bowl, we'll add 375 grams of bread flour or all-purpose flour. Then we'll add 5.5 grams of salt to one side, 5.5 grams of instant yeast to the other side and one teaspoon of sugar. Add 45 grams of butter in small pieces and mix with your fingers. The butter here is at room temperature. Next, we will add 180 ml of lukewarm water and mix it into the other ingredients using a wooden spoon or any other spatula. I have another 60 ml of lukewarm water. We will add this a little at a time until we have a soft sticky dough and we've picked up all the flour from the sides of the bowl. You may not need to add all of the water, it depends on the absorbency of the flour you're using. So I have used 40 ml of water, there is about 20 ml remaining here. Now we will turn the dough onto a clean surface and bring the dough together. And net it well for 8 to 10 minutes using our regular netting motion as you see here. You will see that it will become less sticky as you net and eventually turn into a smooth ball with an elastic texture. After netting for 5 minutes, if you feel that the dough needs to be more soft, you can sprinkle some water and continue netting. Once we have a smooth soft dough, we will make it into a ball. Place it into a large bowl, cover with cling film or towel and leave to rise for at least one and a half hours until doubled or tripled in size. In the meantime, let's prep our sausages. I have four chicken sausages, that's 100 grams that I'm chopping into tiny cubes. Add them to half a teaspoon of heated oil in a pan along with some chili powder and salt. Fry this for 2 to 3 minutes and set aside to cook. So after 2 hours, you can see the dough has tripled in size. Let's knock the dough and fold it onto itself repeatedly until smooth and all the air has been pushed out. Now let's nicely crumble 100 grams of feta cheese and add it to the bowl. You can experiment with any other cheese of your choice. Also adding the sausage pieces. Now we will mix these into the dough with our hands, really crushing them in so they are evenly distributed. Dip the dough onto a clean surface and continue mixing and then flatten out the dough. Roll the dough into a long sausage and divide it into 12 equal pieces. The easiest way to achieve equal sized rolls is to cut the roll in half first, then cut each piece into half, then repeat. You can also you also have the option to weigh the pieces so you can be sure they are same size and will cook evenly. Now roll each piece of dough into a ball by rolling it around on the work surface using the cupped palm of one hand. The sausage pieces might keep coming out. For that, 
flatten the dough on the surface and bring the sides to the center. Any fallen pieces of the sausage, you can put it in the center and cover it. Then roll it on the surface. Alternatively, you can shape each one into a ball with the palms of your hand. All of our sausage cheese balls are ready. Line the baking tray with baking paper. Place a roll in the center of the tray and arrange six rolls around it so they are almost touching. The rolls will come together as they rise to form a sharing loaf. Cover the tray with cling film or a towel, making sure there is plenty of space above and leave to rise again for one and a half hours until they have doubled in size. After one and a half hours, our rolls have beautifully risen. Preheat your oven to 220 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Now for that hard crust, sprinkle the rolls with water with, uh, using a spray bottle and then dust lightly with flour. Bake on the middle shelf of the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until the rolls are golden brown and sound hollow when tapped on the bottom. Our cheese sausage rolls are out of the oven. Leave them to cool for 10 minutes. Once cooled, just look at it so beautifully baked. As you see, it's got a hard crust. Not like super hard, but just not as soft like a regular dinner roll or a puff. The inside is so soft and has got those nice rolls. And of course, the sausage and cheese just taste out of the world. You can have it right away with nothing or a bread's best companion, butter. I love dinner rolls and this definitely tops the list. If you liked it too, then do give this video a like and do drop a comment and let us know what kind of cheese did you use and how you liked it so next time I can try it too. We also have a perfect partner to go with these rolls. Just like bread goes with cheese, cheese goes with celery. So we have a very easy to make and very tasty celery soup, which tastes wonderfully good with these dinner rolls. Head over to our Instagram and Facebook page to get the recipe of the celery soup. The link is in the description. Have a great time baking and I will see you very soon.